Patrons, welcome back to Dave's Kitchen. Thank you for your support. Hope you guys are doing well. Got a fun one today, Halloween right around the corner. I'm going to do my version of a Halloween treat, something I would like to eat while I'm sitting around watching a scary movie, maybe handing out some candy to the trick-or-treaters. But uh, obviously, you think Halloween, you think candy, you think sugar, you think the sweet treats, but you know me, I'm a savory boy. And I was just thinking the other day, what do I want to be noshing on while I'm watching a scary movie? Probably a nice casserole. Can't go wrong with a casserole. In fact, this casserole is probably number one or number two right now currently on my side dish power rankings. Today we're going to do broccoli cheese casserole. It's going to be great. Let's get into it. All right, as far as our ingredients, uh, broccoli cheese casserole, you can kind of deduce what the first two ingredients are going to be. We're going to need some broccoli. We're going to need some cheese. Let's do a whole pound, about 16 ounces of fresh broccoli. You can use uh, the frozen stuff if that's easier. Uh, I'm using fresh today, whichever one you, you want. But let's do about a pound of broccoli. Let's do about two cups of cooked white rice. Uh, starting off, that'll be about one cup uncooked. It'll yield two cups once you cook it. We're going to need some cheese. We'll need uh, two and a half cups of sharp cheddar cheese. Now grate it yourself. Get you a big hunk of Tillamook or whatever you like. Grade that off with a cheese grater. Don't use that pre-shredded crap. It doesn't melt. They put weird stuff in it. We've talked about this before, so who needs that? Uh, we're going to need one small white or yellow onion. We're going to need about three or four cloves of garlic. We're going to need a little sour cream. We're going to need a little mayo, probably a little milk. And then as far as spices, we're doing uh, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, dried thyme, and my secret ingredient, I feel like this spice really sets the whole dish off. I'm such a fan of Caribbean jerk seasoning. Get you some nice Caribbean jerk seasoning. We're going to use some of that. A lot of people aren't familiar with it or, you know, haven't used it much. It's, I don't know what all they put in there. There's some, uh, some cloves, some allspice, all kind of stuff, some red chili peppers, just, just great stuff. Great stuff. Caribbean jerk seasoning. So yeah, that's, uh, everything we're going to need for the ingredients. Um, Another little tip, put a little, uh, instead of water in your rice, when you're making that rice, use some chicken stock. It's going to make that rice even more flavorful, and that's what we're all about here at Dave's Kitchen, building layers of flavor. So let's get into some broccoli cheese casserole. It's really simple to whip up. Let's do it. All right, as far as the steps that we're doing here, it's pretty simple. Uh, first step, let's preheat that oven to 350, get that going, because you know that always takes a little bit of time. Uh, also, let's get the rice going. It's going to take about 20 minutes to get that rice, so... Preheat the oven, get the rice going. Now, with a big pot, I like my my trusty Lodge Dutch oven. If you don't have a Dutch oven, you can use any type of pot you have, but a, a good-sized pot. We're going to start that on medium heat with a couple tablespoons of butter. Get that butter nice and melted. Get that pot nice and hot. Then we're going to go in first and kind of just uh, put a sear on that broccoli. I love eating a casserole where you can see like some char on the vegetables or, or, or the meat, whatever's in there. But I want to get a little bit of scald, a little bit of char on the broccoli. It'll saute it a little bit. It works a little bit as far as the cooking, but really it's more just building flavor and appearance and kind of getting a nice scald uh, on that broccoli. So we'll just get that going sauteed for about five minutes. Uh, once that gets nice and soft, we'll throw in that onion. Uh, finely diced, get you a whole... About a medium size. You can use large if you like a lot of onion, but uh, yellow preferred, white if you can't find that. Once those onions start to become translucent, let's hit it with a garlic. Three or four garlic cloves, finely diced, throw that in there. Now, once that garlic gets going, it's going to cook fast, so probably 30 to 60 seconds or until you start to smell that aroma. One ingredient I forgot to list is a can of cream of chicken soup. So at this point, We've got the broccoli going. We've got the onions. we got the garlic. Now we hit it with that soup. Stir it all up. Kill the heat. We don't want to cook anything beyond this point on the stovetop. So we got the broccoli. we got the onions. we got the garlic. we got the cream of chicken soup. Stir all that together. Once you got that soup all nice incorporated, let's go ahead and add in those two cups of rice. We're just It's just a big pot of mush at this point. It's just a big potpourri of flavors. Doesn't look great at this point, but oh boy, it smells great. It's going to taste even better. So get that rice going. Now let's get uh, maybe three-fourths of a cup of sour cream. 
and just a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise. We'll throw all that in there. Now it's time to hit it with those seasonings. We've got the jerk Caribbean spice. We've got the onion powder, the garlic powder, the dried thyme, the smoked paprika. Get all that nice and incorporated. Now with those two and a half cups of cheese, we're going to take about one cup of that and add it into the mixture right now. So one cup of that grated uh, cheddar cheese, get that going. And just to kind of keep everything moist, we'll throw in about a quarter cup of milk, preferably whole milk. And uh, yeah, just mix all that stuff up. Now at this point, we're going to take our big bowl of, of goop. And again, I know it doesn't look great, but it's a casserole, right? Take all that transfer it into a 13 by 9 casserole dish. Before you do that, we want to take some butter and kind of get that pan nice and greased up. I actually broke my 13 by 9 casserole dish. Very heartbreaking. So now I'm just using two smaller ones. So instead of one big casserole, I'm going to have two small casseroles. Big deal. But very important to butter the, uh, the, the, line, the walls and the bottom of your casserole dish. That way nothing sticks. So once you got that buttered, layer all that crap in there just nice and smooth get it nice and kind of uniform and then the last step we'll take that remaining cheese you should have about a cup and a half left at this point sprinkle that on top into the oven at 350 20 25 minutes later just until just when the cheese is thoroughly melted we're not really cooking anything in terms of there's nothing dangerous we don't have raw eggs or anything we're just trying to get all this stuff to kind of come together Melt all that cheese that's in the mixture, melt the cheese on top of the thing, and it'll be ready to go. All right, easy peasy. Look at that, broccoli cheese casserole, my favorite Halloween treat. Little broccoli, little rice, little cheese. And that's the weird thing about this casserole. I'm not even a huge broccoli fan. So I, I feel like the cheese and the rice are doing a lot of the heavy lifting, but uh, man, it all just kind of melds together so well. All those spices, the herbs, the paprika, that, ooh, that Jamaican jerk. Let's see what we got going on here. I mean, gooey, cheesy, ricey casserole. You can't go wrong. The cheese. You can taste the chicken stock with the rice. I mean, so yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you can have all your little fun size Three Musketeers, but let me cue up The Shining and eat some broccoli cheese casserole. Good stuff. This is lick the bowl good. That's how good this is. And look, get a little char on that broccoli. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> no, I don't know if you can have broccoli. But yeah, there we go. Broccoli cheese casserole. Dave's Kitchen. Easy peasy. Whip it up. Prove me wrong. You won't be disappointed. Have a happy Halloween. Patrons, thank you so much. Appreciate your support. Thanks for stopping by. I had fun making this casserole for you. We'll see you next month. Oh, Lord, yeah. Okay, thank you.